Hello, how's it going guys? My name is Bonnie Kiwi and welcome back to another Skyblock Roblox video. Are, are you eyeing up my tomato, bro? Are you eyeing up my tom? Are you eyeing up my tomato, bro? You want some, to you want some of my tom? Here, have some, have some. <laughs> You're welcome. Welcome back to my Skyblock Island. Now, in this video, what I want to do is take you through a little, I mean, a, a lot of details about how totems work. Totems, 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 these things. Uh, let me just get rid of the tomatoes and let me grab the totems. I want to take you through how these things work exactly. They work in many different ways and if you're brand new to the game, they can be very, my inventory's all messed up right now. Every time you log out of this game and log back in, your inventory is completely messed up. It's extremely annoying. It resets your inventory every time. There we go. Um, Sorry, let me just, uh, before we get into the totems, can I just grab my berries real quick? Because uh, if I grab them, then they'll grow back while we're doing the video, you know? There's a lot going on, by the way. If you see my first video, or if you're just here, the second video, so much has changed. I've only been playing this game for like a week and a half, maybe? But so much has changed and I've got so much video ideas ready for when I become a millionaire, which is just around the corner. <laughs> um, but what I want to talk about obviously in this video is totems. So we're going to, we have some totems here. I'm going to go through all the different uses, all the different ways they can be used and all the different kinds. Before we do that, let's just jump back to the hub. Uh, I say back to the hub, we haven't been there yet. To the hub, where you buy the totems, totem guy, totem man. So you can get stone totems, iron totems, coal totems, clay, wheat, tomato, potato, carrot, and onion. One for everything that can be harvested in the game, except for gold and except for grape. There is or two things where you cannot get totems for. So they cost quite a lot of money, and there's for good reason because they're really good. We've got stone totems uh, on the cheaper end at 2,000, and as you progress through, they just get more and more and more expensive. Um, the, I, the clay totem mode is the most expensive one at 10,000. I don't know why that's the most expensive. Uh, I get it generates so much as well. But I guess it's because the bricks that come from it are really nice, but still, uh, onion totems being the most expensive crop one because onions sell for the most. As you'll know, when you sell crops, onions cost sell for the most. Dirty uh, and berries and grapes are the only other crops that co that are similar that are worth growing really. But onions are the most expensive one. So. I have some wheat totems so I can actually show you exactly how they work. But before we start placing them, I just want to say if you're brand new here, which you probably are, and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Over 80% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel, which is just insane. Look, look how sad this guy is. If you subscribe, he gets, he, he gets more, he gets his, what, another tooth back. <laughs> the totems, right? They work in many different ways. Different totems work in different ways. So let's talk first about the clay totems and the coal totems and the stone totems and the iron totems. There is two different types, right? So those four totems, they spawn their own thing, their own material of what they are. So the stone totems sto uh, spawn their own stone. The coal totems spawn their own coal. The iron totems, which is not here anymore because I've moved it, spawns its own iron. And the clay totem spawns its own clay. Um, I can show you the iron totem up here. I've said totem so many times in this video. Uh, the iron totems I have here, they spawn their own iron ore, which I've got feeding into this um, and then it gets cooked. But well, that's, for a, that's a whole other advanced a uh, cup of tea, kettle of fish for another thing. Um, so let's talk about the stone ones, uh, or the, the, all these ones in general, the ones that spawn their own things. God, I gotta go, I gotta get a more efficient way of getting up there. Actually, I've got a set of ladders over there, I'm just dumb. So these ones, they will spawn, if you don't, if you place them next to a conveyor belt, they will spawn that material onto the conveyor belt, which then you can put into a chest. But of course, that's the kind of, the conveyor belts and chests come later on in the game when you've earned some more money. So let's just take away one of these stone totems right now, and I'll show you what happens if you place a stone totem not next to a conveyor belt, and this works the same for coal, for clay, for iron. The ones that spawn their own material, if you place them just on the ground, um, you'll see what happens in just a second. Okay, so as expected, the stone totem has spawned some nice big rocks, which we can then mine, and we'll get stone from that for free from our totem, rather than having to go all the way down to the mine or all the way to another island to mine it. But also, see, it just keeps coming. It spawns like four or five around it, uh, but if you leave it there as well, the stone totem will also pick up the stone into their own little inventory slots in there. So each totem has its own inventory slots. It will pick up four. It can only hold these ones. Actually, they can hold two. The stones can hold two of each in that slot. Same for the iron and coal and clay, I think, is two is the max they can hold in there. So that's why it's much more efficient 
to stick these things next to a conveyor belt because they will automatically spawn the ore. They won't spawn the big rocks like they did down here. They'll just spawn their own material already chopped up and you can collect it in a chest and just empty it every so often. Um, let me just, God, this clay is overflowing. Let me just collect. So what I showed you for the stone, the exact same would happen with the clay and with this coal and with the iron. Now, like I said as well about the conveyor belt being a much more effective method. We've got more berries as well already. I've been talking so much that we've generated more berries. And I just need to plant really quickly some grapes in here because the grapes are run. I did, after I harvested them at the start, I didn't replant the seeds. So grapes are something that cannot be auto-harvested. As far as I know, you cannot auto-harvest the grapes just yet. Maybe I'm wrong, but I haven't been able to figure that out collecting my iron. You see the iron ingots that are going down there? So if you place any of these things next to a conveyor belt, the iron or the coal, they will just spawn that ore onto the conveyor belt and you can put it in an oven or a smelter or into the chest like we've shown. Okay, so that explains auto-generated totems <laughs> but what if you don't if you're not at that stage yet right if you're pretty early in the game you've just you're sick of going around and just collecting all the heart you know collecting all the harvest like this because it can take some time and since i've just went and done that you know what i need to do now yes i need to replant the wheat seeds in there so um <laughs> like i said about the, the totems they can collect things for you the same way they collect the stone or anything like that the crop ones will collect it as well and i'm going to show you exactly how they work but also how to get the most efficiency from them as well. So let me just chuck those grape seeds back in there. Let me, I've got my wheat seeds, cool. I need to get my plow. So the plow obviously turns the grass into dirt where it can then you can then have uh, seeds planted onto it. So the totems work, how they work is in a square of three by three by three. Okay, so that's the first way to get it. Plant your totem in the middle. Okay, now the totem can actually do three out as well so it's actually a much bigger square like this uh, three three all around like this a much bigger square so three from here three from there three from there and three from there even though i've done four because i'm an idiot no, no, that's three. I just can't count. <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah, one, two. And we could have got another row there. One, two. We can put another row here. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, so we can get three all the round. You know what? I'm just going to add the dot in there just for argument's sake, just to show you how it works the most efficiently. Now, I know this is three because I have tested it myself. I tried it with four with four all around, and it couldn't pick it up, okay? So let's. you'd have to plant the seeds all around the totem, obviously, like this seeds all around the totem and you just oh i've run out of wheat seeds that's oh because i yeah i just planted like a million all around my island that makes sense okay so you plant the wheat seeds all around here and eventually once these crops grow in a couple minutes crops grow crops grow fast wheat grows especially fast look at that we just planted that it's half grown already once the wheat grows the totem will start picking up the fully grown crop and it will replant the seed for you as well so the seed will be replanted back into the soil which is just absolutely amazing. And that's where auto farms come into it. Um, I don't want to get too much. This is, this, is, this is a masterpiece. I'm currently building this insane onion AFK auto farm right now. But I'm saving that for another video for when it's fully done. Uh, but I'll just show you real quickly what I mean by the the patches of three. So once you get to the stage where you're automating your farms. Once you're making an AFK farm. Um, you want to put a totem down and you want to put three spaces behind it and when i say i tested this before i did four right i did four all the way along before the back row here didn't get picked up ever i left it for like an hour nothing got picked up on this back row so it's 100 percent three from the back now again like i said down here with the square all around um, all around like the three from the side and from the front and from the back well that's okay when you've got a crop like a, a crop plot like that it's not efficient when you have an eight when you have an afk farm like this only three backwards so that you can have as much being picked up because like i mean, remember these things they can only hold four the crops can only hold one in each slot so they can only hold four so if you had nine all the way around it you'd have and i'll actually show you a really good example thank god fall damage isn't in this game i'll show you a really good example of how bad that design can be so that's the really good farm okay as i'm learning i'm now like a week and a half in i'm really learning to make really good efficient farms that make a whole lot of money this is when i first started i made really bad farms and this is what i'm talking about here look at all these carrots lying around bad design as well they're falling off the conveyor belt they're all just lying around not being picked up by the totem and look at the totem it's only using one slot but all these things around it 
or just aren't being picked up. For one, it goes more than three out, but also three out just isn't being picked up as well, even though there's plenty of space in there. So this just isn't very efficient for AFK farming, okay? These designs here, but this is when I was first starting to learn about totems and I wasn't really, look at all, I mean, look at all these tomatoes, look at them all, they're just laying here, not being picked up, even though the totems are completely empty, there's nothing in this. So you really gotta be efficient and clever uh, about how you manage the totems and oh, my potatoes are overflowing here as well. So these farms here, okay, these are very bad examples, but I'm currently in the pros in the, the middle of the process of upgrading them to the really good system I have going on over here. Okay, so yeah, that's why I have these here, these really bad ones. I was learning, I was teaching myself, and um, and that's why I have these really bad farms over here. But I'm currently making them into really good ones over there. <laughs> Uh, so there, hopefully that's enough information for you. I just got a new berry seed. That is amazing. Berry seeds are so rare because you don't have to replant them. I love berry bushes. If I could have a million of them, I'd just be, I mean, I'd be the richest guy in the game. So these are just about, yeah, so you see here, right? These, that's what I was talking about. And it gives you a perfect example of how, so this fresh seed here, okay? It's been freshly replanted by the totem. You can see it's picked up one wheat and it's freshly planted it the furthest away from what I said it could do, yeah? Three out all the way round, this big square. Now it's not gonna pick things up very quickly because totems don't work super speedy. And that's why this uh, that's why this becomes more clear. This totem design up here becomes more and more clear. Um, the three back from each one, three back, three back, three back, um, because they can only pick up so much so often. It's picked up two from the outside here, and you'll have two in here now, okay? So, hopefully, that teaches you all you need to know about totems. If anyone else has any other tips, or if you want, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will try and help you out. Hopefully, you're enjoying this game as much as I am. It's so much fun. Honestly, I am loving this game. I don't think I would. <laughs> I just, I, I, Roblox has never been my thing. I don't think I would enjoy it. Um, but I, I love Skyblock. I love the Minecraft version. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try this out. And I'm so glad I did because I am addicted. I am obsessed with getting an a super expensive farm. <laughs> Something that generates millions of coins. And then I'm going to have some insane video ideas coming your way. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. I'm literally, I've got video ideas where I'm, I'm going to make my subscribers super rich, my viewers. I'm going to give you so much, so much competitions and chances to win insane amounts of onions and seeds and coins and all that good stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you uh, hopefully in the next one. I just said that. Yeah, bye. <laughs>